In today's video, I'll be setting up the Neo Geo CD emulator on the R36S handheld video game console. So uh, basically, this is where the original operating system is at, and the second micro SD slot is where you could put an extra micro SD card or an expansion card, and you could use this as well. So I'll be using this to put the Neo Geo CD uh, BIOS files and also the Neo Geo CD media files in there. So let me take this out. Just push it in like that and you can get it out like that. And I'm going to be putting it into my micro SD USB card reader. And I'm going to stick this into my computer and put the appropriate file so I can get this to work on the R36S. So I'll see you there. I'm back on my computer. I'll stick in that micro USB SD card. Okay, it should just come out like this. Before I start, I need a couple of things. I need to get the Platacera 33 BIOS pack. You could find the Neo Geo BIOS uh, pack individually, or you could find it in a uh, in a file packet like this, which has all the BIOS packs. You could get the games on my abandonware. Go to platform. Go to Neo Geo CD should be able to get games here. Some of them are some of some of these games you have to pay for. Others you don't have to pay for it. It's free, so it really depends. Or you could find the games on archive.org if you want, or anywhere on the internet. So um, just download this file, Patasera 33 files pack. Let's get started. So I'm going to open Patacera 33 BIOS pack, go to BIOS, I'm going to go to Neo, Neo CDs, this is what I basically, and this I think, both of these files, so I need to go to my BIOS folder on my USB, on my SD, micro SD card. I need to create a folder called Neo called Neo CD. I already created it, so I'll show you where it's at. Neo CD, and you just put in the two files that I pointed out. These two files. Put into the, put it into that Neo CD folder, and that's basically it. As for the games, you go back to the drive, and you go to Neo CD, and this is where you put can put all the games. I'll put some of the games in here as well. Let's see how big these files are actually. They're quite large, about 255 to 300 megabytes, 350 megabytes. About the size of what a CD would be back in the 1990s. CD was about 650 megabytes. So I got the ROMs in here, that's good. Got the BIOS files in here, so now I'm just going to eject this and I'll see you on the R36S. Sorry about the background noise, that's that's my loud computer. So I'm gonna take this micro SD card out of the 
adapter and I'll put it in put it back in the second slot here just goes in like that I'll turn this on since I am using the micro S, second micro SD card I have to switch the storage device in order to use it originally this R36S does not have the Neo Geo CD emulator so let me go back to here here just go to RetroPie go to advanced I'm going to switch to SD ROMs, SD2 for ROMs, and I, I will have to restart this as well in order to initiate it. anything here so I'll just have to restart start and we quit restart okay I should have Neo Geo CD on here, which is right there. Press A. Let's go play some games on it. Let's play Arrow Fighters. As you can see, Neo Geo CD emulator is working. I'm going to press Start. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna exit. Select start, select start to get out. Press B. Let's try another for Samurai Showdown. This is a .chd file. It should work with this emulator. Press start. Okay, that's enough so that's how you run the games and the games did run so it's working so let me get out of here press B B I hope you found this helpful if you did please leave a thumbs up and if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below and thanks for watching